Alright, uh, we got Fernando in here. It's time to start, bro. This is big. First match of the day here. First match of SBG the day versus First Fernando. First match of the MVH crew battle career, oh dude. Gosh. Fernando representing <laughs> at here. Ready? We have the Wario versus Hero in the first game. Wario versus Hero. These are two very interesting characters, actually. I, I feel like I see none of them ever. Yeah. Let's get this started. So we have SBG on Hero representing Sunnyside, and Fernando on Wario representing Fermi Blair High School. Go! <laughs> That's just up starting here, Fernando getting good first few hits. Um, Metal Slash coming out is sort of an interesting pick, but... High paced action. <laughs> yep. <laughs> the hatchet man! Oh man. This here is scary, bro. Options. Wario is looking for a combo starter here, gets a bite. Yeah. And a great bite off that shield. I think I need to go get things out uh, up here, but... Trying to stay an advantage. SVG's... Dang it, yeah. He was going out, doesn't connect. Um... Oh, and the early walk! <laughs> oh no! That was so scary, dude. <laughs> it's only been a minute. These, uh, all these, uh... What's called? Down these. Sometimes making it work, sometimes not. <laughs> yep, yep. Bike goes out. SVG wants to try to... Deny Wario the bike. Gets the forward smash. And no edge guard from here, an unfortunate SD from Fernando. Ice was echoing, so I kinda I kinda kick him off. <laughs> <laughs> but nah, we know we know Fernando's gonna bring this one back. It's a quick not SD here, good. Uh, but yep. this oomph on the hero really gonna be a scary threat. It is scary. He has uh, the fireball charged up. Yeah. Bike connects. Fernando's looking for the kill. Great pressure on the shield here with these nares and fares. So yeah. Fernando really needs the kill option. He has an advantage save right now. He's looking yeah. for a kill. Unless you get stuck in the corner. That could be yes, a kill. Yeah, yeah. That's great it. Talk. Great talk by Fernando. <laughs> really close match we have here. Here's back at full energy. Yeah, I like these these. This one's been pretty, pretty even. Psycho coming out, so kind of going on the defensive, but the projectile is going to take that into his uh, advantage. The walk yeah. again. We see another oh, walk here. Shield break. shield break. That is insane. Uh, just another Doesn't little one for a sec. These hatcher man, that's that's oh, the second one this game. Going from the top deck kamikaze and it's over, dude. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely. Oh, these okay, players are playing really patient. Scary. Yeah. You see the kaboom. There was that low MP, but Fernando is dead. What a fair from SVG. Great edge guard by SVG here. These fairs really coming out here, just outspacing all of these Mario uh, moves. Definitely. Fernando's having a tough time outspacing the sword. Belly toes just can't, can't get the job done. This yep. bike play on the platform will trip you and another uh, on SG will take the game. GG's all around. GG's. GG's. Unlucky, unlucky. That's, that's how it's gonna be. Takes game one. Two socks to nothing. <laughs> 21 to 23 Sunnyside. Montgomery Blair High School is looking to make a big change here. Alright, okay. SGB's back in the arena. Let's get this game two started. We have Wolf played by hey, what Wolf. Swirly here. That's actually a fifth, not on the list of my four. Those four were Roy Crom, Jigglypuff, and yep. Incineroar, but the Pocket Wolf coming out here. Pocket Wolf. Let's see how Swirly can do. Yep. Yeah. Oh, yeah, we gotta remember the top to start up. Or, or just start, that works too. Media Psycho, uh, but. Let's get to it. Exactly, exactly. Almost a lot of buffs coming out here from Hero. Yep. This really does have to take into account that Hero can kill Wolf really early. Cheese with the edge guards. Mm -hmm. And this bounce here will just completely invalidate laser just like that. Laser just like that. Very neutral. Uh, 
two frames from the uh, uh, swirly here. There you go. Trading jabs here. Yeah. Back to neutral, but these just big hitboxes from here that we've been seeing. Like these bears, these slashes, really just stuffing out a lot of these approaches. Definitely. So really just looking for ways to get in. Has held advantage uh, a lot through this game, but SVG is still racking up the damage amount. SVG is really get out of this corner with their down these, these sizzles and booms. Really been prominent here. But with this low MP, SVG might be struggling. Yeah. Nice get up attack to get him off, but stays in the corner. That will be the stock of the backer from the wolf. Yeah, that backer is really scary on wolf, especially when SVB is, is uh, sitting in the corner. Mm -hmm. I think Hero's lack of defensive options will also just lead to a lot of these strong kills, but there's only one left to have. Definitely. Right, scary situation against Hero in the corner, but quickly reverse the. The thing about crew battles is SVG does not have to win the game, you just need to take a stock, which he does. Exactly, really and that makes three SD. SDs from Montgomery Blair. Not a great start, but... Not great. 50%, 70%, right off the bat. In a good spot. Laser just with that percent. And great going high to avoid that, uh, down to two frame. So while he's looking to end the game here, he needs to take save as many slots as he can. Yeah, okay, the psycho, not putting in enough work for hero here, but... Yeah, looking, looking for a back air, looking yeah. for a forward air into, into some kill confirm. Looks for the laser off the stage. And it's That's back a back air. It's really just backers in the corners, especially against hero, yeah. like you were saying. Off the platform, two big clean from Swirly, and that makes uh, 20 stocks for Montgomery Blair and 21 for Sunnyside. Closing the lead by one. Do we have a stage list, or is it just Battlefield and Omega? I think it might end up being Battlefield. Okay. Uh, for the uh, Sunnyside counter pick here, but and here it is, an A. It's gonna be. Actually gonna pull up the graphic again. So to fight a wolf here, I don't know who would I send in. Who would you send in for a wolf? Um, I don't know. You need to send a um, send out somebody who can get out of that corner. Like we saw, that was mm -hmm. SBG's main count uh, downfall. Yeah. Um, and also probably a really fast sword character. Neutral. I would go Nestor. But it's gonna be Banjo, Who's not you. Banjo. Also okay. Let's see how this goes. Let's see. Banjo As does have counterplay with the grenades. 100%, Players. but we do know Wolf with his crazy reflector. Comes out yeah. fast and stays out, so... Three, two, Let's see how this one, goes. And they counter go. to Town and City. That's gonna be City. tight, tight walls. So, early kills for both of them. And we know from this this Wolf, this backer is definitely gonna be a early killing here. Definitely, definitely. Uh, Town and City will help uh, Banjo get out of the corner. Do you see that uh, top platform there? Yeah, it's true, these grenades. It's really trying to, you know, really get up there to challenge it, but... Really definitely, just, uh, definitely. set them back. Great aggression out of the corner to get a nice little... Pushing his advantage here, too. And yes, other thing. Sorry, go I was gonna say, uh, Town and City, like, the platforms just disappear, so you can go back to FD, which might work out for, um, Swirly here. That's exactly what I was can... gonna say, actually. Yeah, the top yeah. platform is gonna be helping about a third of the time. Yeah. Uh, but still, getting out of the corner really well would be wonderful. Definitely, definitely. These grenades on the platform, really opting the platform game like we saw that, uh, right after. What is it, phase, would you call it? Uh, yeah, I think... As you can see, Sword is looking for those backers. We saw just three of them. Only one of them in connecting, but... Really scary move, really hard to counterplay. Yeah. And... This is just one stock down, and well now two stocks down from Montgomery Blair with a great up tilt by an A, but... Uh, Swirly is just gonna be really looking to even this out for Montgomery Blair, or hopefully maybe, a, you know, reverse 3-0 and take it for the lead, but, you know, like you said, it's a true battle. Winning doesn't always matter, you take as much damage as possible. Exactly. So, All about the stocks. And 
these reflectors coming out here, like we said. Uh, I haven't been doing much value, but it's that backer once again that's gonna take the stock. Definitely. Swilly is looking to rack up percent. That's how he gets the kills. He gets them to around 100. He gets the backer when he takes the stock. But, Pretty consistent. Yeah. Right? But it's really getting back to center stage is really struggling the most here. Especially against Banjo with all these projectiles turning at him. Definitely and wolf speed. once again, this uh, great getting out of the corner by an A. Yeah, we're seeing it. Uh, Banjo just staying in center stage, holding it. Uh, even though Wolf is fast, it's really tough to get around these projectiles, so. Like we saw in the hero game, well in the hero game, uh, a lot of the stones being racked up in the corner when the hero couldn't get out. Uh, but here, okay. as Banjo's just quickly getting out with his Wonder Wings, he's these grenades. Uh, it's a struggle for Wolf here to find all this percent and even the skill. Yep. Ah, high percent. Um, Twilly's definitely looking for these aerials. Gets him into disadvantage. Yeah, see, he's landing backers, that's what's taking it the most. So, yep. with no platforms though, it might be a little hard to find a cheeky one. Definitely. And he's having a tough time getting out of this corner right now. But no, once again, it's these quick rear options that will definitely. really be a saving grace. These backers coming out, very safe. Dash attack, attack takes the stock. At 170. That is Big for That's Swilly. very good. That's one stock taken for Blair and uh, two stock taken for Blair and one stock taken for Sunnyside. So already a good spot. But we'll see if Swirly can really bring it back for Blair here. Yeah. Oh, great catch on the grenade out of the corner. Some that bit off and has been a struggle pain to deal with. And that backer really could have been it right there, but really close. And catching the grenade out of the oh. corner again. That extra 10 percent Yes, Will's been doing a really good job at dealing with these projectiles, but Wonder Wing but, takes yeah. the game. That Wonder Wing, it's gonna take it. GG's to Swirly. GG's to Swirly. Okay. So that's gonna make it... how many stocks each? But, uh... uh my still in both, so uh, 18 and 19. Yeah, 18 uh, and 19, so a really close game. Really close. Alright, so it's Blair's counter pick, and we'll see see where they go. So it's looking like we're having a Nay versus um, Wetzelami here. Wetzelami plays a lot of uh, quick characters, looking to take out uh, the Banjo, looking to fight for that center control, looking for to get that first stock, and that's all you really need in this crew battle. Uh, the game is starting. We see the Greninja here. Definitely. What are you wondering how you will be able to do that? Three, two, one, go! Like yep. Ah. Yeah, they're going. Yep. Taunt to start out. Love to see it. Alright. I'm here to cap sub for Alex that point. Yep, we have Komono as a, as a commentator, currently. Wetslami's doing a great job of keeping the pressure up. Uh, staying right next to Banjo all the time. Banjo doesn't have the time to pluck the grenades, hold shields, do anything really. Alex is playing very aggressive race here, trying to keep Banjo, you know, on his toes. And this quick. But, yeah. He's doing all right, I think. Um... <laughs> yeah, those quick tilt attacks and aerials from Banjo Kazooie is doing a really good job of keeping it off. That wondering, almost killing. Westlami needs to be very careful here uh, when it comes to losing stocks because each stock is one point. Uh, man, this is kind of hard to read about it because, you know, uh... My Twitch is going through a lot of delay, so I'm just getting the Wonder Wing stuff like 20 seconds later. <laughs> uh, yeah, you can, um. Oh, yeah, you can't join the arena. <laughs> but yeah. Oh my god, you took suck. Alright. Well, it's on the side, that's pretty much all they need at least. Yeah, and they keeps the lead for, uh, Sunnyside. But Slime just looking to take the kill, looking to 
to finish it off. He does not want to lose any more stocks. Yeah, he just needs to play a bit more smooth. Definitely. Oh my god. Oh. Okay. Quick movement gets a grab. They've been in neutral this whole time, but none of them, neither of them have been able to, to hold advantage state for a, a while. A, a good tilt confirm here, like down tilt, up stash, or yada yada, you could take it definitely. Or definitely. A lot of pressure coming from here. A lot. Yeah, he's making, things really, he's making things really hard if he wants to take this stock. Definitely, definitely wanting to look for this stock here. 149%, he has the rage. He has. Flopsons trades with the aerial and takes it. Uh, what's around and finishes off the game. Um, come on, you should. Uh, uh Matthew, you should uh, join the the thing if you're trying to commentate. Yeah, I probably should. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Bye, bye. I'm good. I was coming back. Bye. Oh, okay. Well, I mean, uh, Alex has another game to play, but <laughs> yeah, it's chill. Uh, let's see who they play. We'll see in a He's second. Joke, right? I think so. Yeah. Joker probably was the best counter pick here. Uh, yeah. I remember Alex saying he's gonna hate this. Yep. Uh, just as fast as Greninja can, uh, has the, the bigger aerials, has the bigger hitboxes to, to take Greninja out of it. And Greninja doesn't have it. Yeah, okay, this is not the right one. I love to see you. Okay, <laughs> we see Yoshi's here. Alright, I'm not sure. Okay, I guess we're going with it. You know, I, I guess we're playing it. I'm not sure how much uh, they benefit or don't benefit from this, but I'm. Um, yeah. How long till one of them gets hit? Yep. This is looking to be a, a pretty close game here. Both just looking for their, their combo starters, looking for those early hits, trying to uh, stay in advantage, which is really hard because they're both really fast, both have the kind of play. I mean, I think if Alex wants to bring this uh, one stop lead uh, from them back to the player, I think he has to play really hard to hit, really annoying, uh, just kind of annoy Joel right here. Definitely, especially when Joel has Arsene. We, we see that dropping off right now, but... Oh, Greninja... Isn't the, the heaviest character. And yeah, one, like one back air could definitely do it here, I think. Definitely. Joel Jr. getting... advantage. Oh, yeah. what's Lamy with the reversal? Can he, can he finish off the stock? No. Tether is too good. Alright. He's keeping the advantage here. Okay. Oh, gets a stock. Tether misses. Now now he just can't get back here. He just has to run away, run away. Run away, What's dude. What's wrong with me? Oh, okay. Uh, down smash takes a stock. Joe uh, Jr. is doing a really good job of racking up damage. Moving around the quick ninja aerials and hitting them with its own. These counters have uh, really contributed to getting uh, faster Arsene. So that's what we're seeing here. These guns don't kill. Really quick Arsene from Joe uh, Jr. Uh, what's on me is uh, keeping up the uh, aggression though, not trying to wait it out, it looks like. Oh man, that's no percent right there. Has to extremely careful here. Alex is kind of just doesn't know what to uh, do right here. Definitely, it is it is extremely hard in this matchup to um, to find your hits because Joker has uh, 
as uh, Alex stated himself, is really slippery, really hard to hit. Uh, yeah. And no only does have the. He likes to make you come in no matter what. He will play a sudden as uh, if he wants. And then, yeah. uh, you know, ran his dash attack, get the damage in. But here he can't really do that. Yeah. But he he is racking up the damage there. Hasn't taken that much percent. Looking to, to stall out this R7. Oh, gets countered. That is a tough. Uh, what is that game? Five. Um, yeah. Two to one. That was a tough game. How do you feel about that? Uh, what's wrong? Um, I did a few missing puts. Uh, his counter, which was a little awkward. Uh, overall, he played really well. You know, that side yep. was a little bit sus there. Yeah, I thought I could get away with it in lag. I couldn't. <laughs> Joker too, because he can counter gun. But I just couldn't find opportunity to the Yoshis. So. Should I back out? Uh, it's up to you. You can say if you want, but... <laughs> Alright, in that case, I'm going to break with the commenting. See you guys. Right, bye. Bye. Thank you, Kimono. Three, uh, one, bring up the Luke. Go Junior going out in style. Two stars imagine... to three. <laughs> yeah, I'd imagine Joker's good into his owner, but uh player decided that it's probably the best bet. Especially with the uh the sheer amount of space Lucas can command with these fairs, as we're already uh seeing but... Definitely. It's going to be hard for Lucas to get out of these combos. Joel Jr. is a lot faster, can close the distance, so it's going to be hard for um, Lucas' zone. Uh, I see the zone. Forgettable. I don't think I've ever seen that before, actually. Yep. Yeah, we do see Joel turning the ledge a lot, and the few counters that have taken the last game is going to take this first stock in this game, too. Well, Junior, Junior doing a great job, but Montgomery Blair High School doesn't really have too many good counter picks into this Joker, if any at all, so... Yeah, we've really seen with Joel here getting this arson so fast, like, exactly right here, it's with these counters, uh, seen last game too, it's like we're getting these arson fast, I don't think... And then it's the counter with our send up the stocks, so... Definitely. He's oh, getting these That's a big cheese for Blair. Big cheese for Blair. <laughs> Lucas uh, looking to take this stock, looking to rack up the damage. What well, Joel Jr. has been doing really well uh, is getting these hits. It's yeah. the cheese. It's these going lows that have really been uh, been taking a lot of stocks. Like last game, uh, it was going low. Uh, just couldn't make it back on Joker. Definitely. So... I turned my music off. I was like, there's some weird thing happening in the background. <laughs> <laughs> figured it out. <laughs> and yeah, it's a lot of aggression from both players down the corner and both generation throughout all this day. Um, Definitely. Joel Jr. Yeah. We saw from uh, Banjo, these grenades have been going getting out. Oh, and it's the counter. Ooh, it. It's like counter on the up B. Mm -hmm. Really well played from Joel Jr. Uh, yeah, that's that sends Montgomery Blair High School very far behind here. Mm -hmm. uh, that puts them at... But three stocks to one. Yeah. So it's it's really this uh Arsene coming fast and then the counter just coming faster, you know? I think how many stocks? There's been 100%. five stocks taken from Joel Jr. here. Three out of those five being from Arsene counter. But it will be the Bowser Jr. Bowser Jr. Drive, our beautiful host coming out here. So one drive. One drive Bowser Jr. looking to take the stock, he cannot lose a stock here. Yeah, but we know Bowser Jr. known for his crazy zero to death, so it could just be right here. Hey, one percent! Hey, yo! This clarification. Get out of here. Thank you. So we, uh, Blair wins by default. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Alright. Starting out here. I think the biggest problem for this matchup is that Junior, of uh, one of his strengths is that the cart is able to tank a lot of uh, things that come his way. But if you hit his head, then he takes more percent and uh, he's just less heavy. And so Joker coming in here, being able to gun him from the top, is and gonna be big. It's done. Yeah, it's gonna really stuff out a lot of one drive versus you. 
And Arsene, 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 Arsene already coming out. Arsene's yeah, coming out Arsene fast. Yeah, coming out really fast. Looking for the kills here. He's gonna look for these aerials, look for these backers, look to rack up percent. Because all Joel Jr. needs to do is take one stock and That's increase that lead. Advantage too. All the another tower hitbox. Yeah. Joe Jr. doesn't have Arsen. Arsen's gone. One drive needs to take this stock before Arsen comes out again. Joe Jr. is gonna look for counters. Yeah, 100%. One drive did a really good job at uh, keeping him in disadvantage, even with the counters. Like, keeping him in disadvantage so there's no like these back airs or down smashes that could be taking the stock of Arsen. And Joe was really trying to find the stock here with some ambitious. And it's the down it's take the it. down smash that takes the stock. 100%. Junior's notorious for that up smash just not being able to connect for the life of it. So just, just unlucky to get it. And it's gonna be an SD. It's gonna be an SD. It's gonna be an SD. Joel Junior didn't really care about taking another one. He did what he needed to do. He got three stocks up for Sunnyside. It's gonna be really tough for Montgomery Blair going into the future. Yeah, and you know what we've seen? How many SDs is that now? Five, maybe? Like, uh, that was a, a lot. I think it's just a, a, a mixture of a lot of things, though, you know, um... Uh, you see the trio, the Sora coming out for the Bowser Jr. Uh, we do know that this is one of Junior's least favorite matchups to deal with. The floatiness of Sora is really just gonna come in here, so... It is. It's gonna be hard for uh, one drive to find Three, these combos. Two, we are playing on Smashville though, so Sora's so gonna have a tough time. Also, uh, keeping that gap away, looking to zone off the Bowser Junior. Junior's really good at closing the gap with these uh, clown cards for their super armor. Uh, I'm unsure if it'll be able to go through Fire Aga, definitely not Sun Aga, because like it said, comes from above. Uh, Junior's hitbox above is a problem, but. Definitely. But you're racking up a quick damage with a, a lot of damage with this quick combo. Dude, one drive having a hard time getting back onto stage, and this is what you uh, expect on Smashville. One person really dominating the the scene. It's really hard to, to stay away from them. Exactly. Resetting neutral on Smashville can be such a challenge for some characters. Ooh, and oh, quick kill. Yeah, really clean from the trail, only 25%. It's gonna be really scary for one drive uh, going to the future. Yeah, but we do know with Bowser Jr. able to quickly rack a percent, so he's definitely getting a nice little uh, quick stock back. But it's these Sundagas off stage that are commanding a lot of respect. Wonder trying to wall him out off stage with the bears, and it's gonna be another oh, SD. Another How does that SD. Make that maybe six now. So unless two stocks to zero, moving it down to Montgomery Blair nine, Sunnyside fifteen. It's not looking good for Montgomery Blair at all. Kazuya, man, as you can see by the profile picture, uh, and that's who's gonna be playing here. Montgomery Blair's best player. So we'll really see. Uh, coming out uh, with a five stock deficit, so we'll really see where this is gonna go. Yep. And bringing it to FD here too, Kazuya's best stage. We know that FD gives him a lot of range, but the thing is, the Nagas and the Spyrogas are gonna command a lot of respect from a character like Kazuya. Yep, FD, um, while Kazuya benefits from it, these Thunder Agas might be scary, yeah, but Kimono yeah. really got yeah, right. FD instantly, yeah. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, Kimono's looking, doing a great job of walling him out. Trio gets a reversal grab. Misses the Thunderaga. That could be it. Really close. Yeah, that's, that's that is not big. The FD here really is making it easy for Kimono to just get uh, these uh, electric two fists off of landing. And he's right here, just a big combo coming out already. Well, big as in four hits, but. <laughs> Big as in damage too. Uh, Kazuya hits really hard, and um, someone like Sora who who's looking to to keep him uh, uh, to take like short trades, rack up these percents, and then edge guard. Mm -hmm. It's gonna be tough. 
Yeah, and the other thing about Sora is one of the biggest strengths is their recovery. It's really hard to edge guard with Sora, they can come out from anywhere, but you know, Kazuya is probably not going to be going off to his edge guards that much. And Definitely. Yeah, and so it's rage drive coming out already here. You already know Kazuya, as soon as they get it, <laughs> they're going to try to try to get it right off the ledge, but a lot of restraint coming out of your from Kamono. And it's Gets the rage drive, drive and takes the stock. Yeah, Kamono awesome. might be what Blair needs. Exactly, yeah. This deficit. Lean backer from the trail taking the stock. Yeah, agree back here. We see a lot of uh, edge cards from Sora here. Maybe we'll see one or two more. Hopefully not two, but <laughs> uh, another one is Sora's biggest strength, and with Kazuya's linear recovery, with this having to go low every time, or it out in, it can be a big uh, way to come back for the Sora. Yep, um, the trail is doing a really good job of maneuvering after that first stock. Um, Kimono's having a hard time finding these combos, finding this high damage uh, options here. Just kind of a little bit of whipping in neutral here off of these, yeah, a lot of these uh, punishes, like off that Pentaga, off that counter. Just unfortunately cannot find the opening. Trust it. Exactly, yeah. I mean, when you're, you're 15 stocks up, or 15 stocks up, yeah. <laughs> 15 stocks up is great. <laughs> yeah, they're 5 yeah. stocks up, so. Five stocks up, so. Really, I try to keep this lead, you know, or you could just try to get as much as you can out, uh, since you have that lead anyway, but. Great drive coming out, and, you know, 40%. It was just gone already, but. Uh, Source Lightness could really be a problem. Definitely. Mono's having a really tough time getting in, getting these hits, he can't get to find the combo starters, he can't find these high damage options, and uh, Latreo's doing a really good job of uh, boxing him out, zoning him out. Yeah, he's a... Uh... I was gonna fire Ragas, but that was a great conversion option, I wanna go into that. <laughs> yeah. That's great, roll behind yeah. back here. Bro, taking the spot. Mono dropping down to one stock, Latreo is doing a really good job of just uh, making Kimono's uh, options useless. I remember uh, seeing last time with the Sora, uh, so really good getting all over him for the bit. There's really been a lot of facial here, so Kimono is doing a good job of just uh, himself out of disadvantage, which is a big problem for Kazuya. And Raid Drive is out again, so this could be close to the end. Yep, Kimono did win the quarter two uh, tournament for Montgomery Blair High School. One of the best players there, if not the best. Uh, and Latreo is doing a really good job of not letting him do anything. That might be game, and it is. And it's that linear recovery coming out again with this massive Zendaga from Lightio. A huge comeback too. Was that huge. <laughs> that was tough. Alright, and I think it's gonna be Amari coming in uh, for this. Okay, okay. This, we, got, we got two players left for Montgomery Blair with five on Sunny's side. I get nervous once. I'm crying. <laughs> DK versus Sora. Yeah, DK versus Sora. So we do know that Sora is really great at combos. We've been seeing oh on Smashville again. Uh, last game against not well, two games ago on against that Bowser Jr. Uh, Lightro getting a lot of big damage openings. So this could be a problem for DK. Okay, that's game great. Yeah, we got we got Sora leaving here. Not spectating, unfortunately. Um, hopefully, he can provide us with some insight after talking. It's a little too late to have to spectating, and that is on me. I'm sorry about that, Sora really Yeah, yeah. Right, though, we're seeing the DK getting some, some good hits and keeping out here in the corner. Like we saw with Kazuya, uh, if you spend Dogas off stage, they get a lot of space. And with a character like DK, who also doesn't have recovery, just in the off stage, with Kazuya, it be a big problem like here. He's just taking his jump, and some questionable PI will take the DK's stock with an up air. We do know DK, though, has really good ways to just 
cheesing their opponents with two big spikes, cargo throw, but Sora being able to come back from virtually anywhere, as long as he doesn't die from the initial hit, this could be a big problem for DJ getting away. Yeah. Oh. has really been able to reset neutral a lot to add this advantage, especially against Kage, which is kind of sometimes a big problem, but anytime Chris is getting hit, I don't think we've seen any more than two. I tried to go for the spike. We just yeah. uh, tried to go for a thirsty reversal, and once again, the questionable DI will be coming in. <laughs> Take it with a nice spare off stage. And grab some of all DK needs. Star will be able to make it back 100% but the spike will be missing. Hundred percent, hundred percent. And really, just Flight here getting all over him with these fire agas, with these uh, side bees, not giving DK a single opening. Uh, and that nair could have been taking it, but it did not with that Thundaga defensively from Flight Oh, what happened? Oh. Um, so Beefy Pine got disconnected from the arena. Uh, the game is still going on, so I'll give you guys a play by play right now. <laughs> oh, and Lightyear yeah, will take it with a fair off stage. Yeah, it was a nice edge guard, all three stocks. Unfortunate that he got kicked out of spectating, but uh, Lightyear will take this game uh, with a nice 1 2 3 off stage. <laughs> GG's, GG's. In terms of stage counterpicks, I think we've just been forgetting some of the who brought FD, but couldn't close it out, unfortunately. So we'll see if there's an, another FD here again, or if, you know, the random stage will prevail. Yep. And it's gonna be FD, what, what can we see? see? What can we see? So, I, I'm confident Jake can take the stock on FD, because we do know that one hit is all it can take, and see Jake and McClough just, just laving out the combos on whichever victory is going on next before the match starts, so it's a good I chance like that this is happening on Sora. Um, yeah, let's see if he can uh, do, uh, uh, as well as Kimono is getting those hits, uh, and if not better, because he needs to take this stock away from Latrio without losing. As you know, uh, Montgomery Blair is 10 stocks down, so. Yeah, 100%. And... Unfortunately, yeah, that's not it right there, but, you know, you know, Scary Kazu is going to be right there. You know, we know about, what we know about Komodo as the Wi-Fi warrior, he is, he's very experienced about comboing and lag, so we don't know this about Jake, though, so we'll really see what happens. Definitely. Now it's super even, uh, but there's that two dropped opening. I'd, I'd love to uh, know what you just said there, but I think what I got from there is uh, Lightyear has been had very good spacing these last few matches. Uh, and if that is what you said, I 100% agree. These Thundagas and these Bears are just perfectly keeping out all the opponents. Definitely. It's really hard to get in, it's really hard to get out. Uh, Lightyear is doing a really good job of uh, just racking up damage, getting these kill options, getting these edge cards. Coming out, and that is a really scary spot to be in. Being frozen, the Sora up here. And that Ray Drive is going to take the game. Ray gonna take the game. Great okay. job by Jake. Not losing a single stock out here to like you. Wins. That leaves how many? Three players left. Uh, Sonic side one. Um, when can we blare like 20 still? Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah. I think the, the overlay is bugging out right now, but, mm -hmm. um, it's also, it's also not bugging my it. YouTube channel, everyone go subscribe anyway. <laughs> Kazuya vs King DDD coming out here. Yup, yup, yup. Uh, let's see what he can do, uh, Kazuya has a lot of combos against, um, DDD. Uh, let's see if, um, and an already shield break. break. With one reflector, we know Kazuya reflector can kill Sam from zero. Will he get the opening? Unfortunately, not. Ten percent off of it. Yeah, it could have been big. Could have been big, but unfortunately, <laughs> it's not. It's not gonna make it work. 
And it's just like that, the suicide kills that we were just talking the about, going kills. to be playing for the stock here. So, you know, it's so well done by Dom. Well played. Really unfortunate that uh, Kazu could not convert off that shield break early into the game, but Dom doing a really good job of uh, just racking up damage, taking kills. You all, you only need to take three stocks, and you have four players left. You have massive box from DDD's up smash. That's a little awkward, but your generation drive can keep it in the stock back. That's a solid what 50% taking just right there. Yep, definitely. And it's really DDD's tough positioning. Yep, yeah, really Yeah, we is really good at blood traffic, and it's that edge guard gonna take it right there. One more stock. Sunnyside high, looking to end it early here, but we'll see. Kazuya still does have counter kill, like we said, he has the damage, he has the kill, kill uh, pressure. Looking, yeah, 100%. We do see Dom looking for these uh, neutral beats to really cheese out Jake's stock here. Uh, yeah, sucking effect as we call him the business. 100%, 100%. That <laughs> great up the eye. Yeah, great up with the question of the eye, we'll take that stock. And we do know Kazuya has things to do with that, but unfortunately gonna take it, and that is damn. G. Yeah. GG Sunnyside 12 or Sunnyside 11 to Mon oh Sunnyside 10 to Montgomery Blair zero oh, yeah 10 stocks that's that's four Ten players to spare stocks. so yeah thanks on everyone for participating thank you so much for Sunnyside yeah. reaching out on our Instagram uh, that's at MVHS Smash Club I'm pretty sure uh, so yeah thanks for everyone coming out uh, thanks for participating it was a lot of fun now, it was